How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to a basic zoom tutorial in Construct 2. This is something that I think is really fun to add and it's actually something that I found in the RTS intermediate template. So if you go to file new in Construct 2 and you go to the RTS template, you can find it in the event sheet. Now I thought it would be beneficial if you've never done a zoom before to actually just have someone explain what's going on. So this is my top down shooter project from my top down shooter course where we actually make this game and we're using all free artwork so it's really fun and we have enemies and shooting and bullet shells and muzzle flash so it might be beneficial to be able to zoom out a little bit and zoom in just so you can see the entire level. So this is our camera, this green object here, and this is kind of our view, which we set up in the course with our window size and our project size and whatnot. But I want you to keep in mind that that's what we're going to be zooming in on. We're going to be zooming in on the player, but we're really going to be zooming in on this layout. So this view right here is going to get bigger and smaller, and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to add a new event for the mouse, and we're going to go to our mouse wheel event. So on mouse wheel, the direction will be down for now. We're gonna hit copy and paste, and then we're gonna edit it for up. So now we have both directions that will be fired. If the mouse wheel is being scrolled downwards, that event will be fired. And likewise for the, if the mouse wheel is scrolling upwards. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our action. So on mouse wheel down, we're gonna add the action for our system to actually set the layout scale. So we're gonna say set layout scale. What we're going to do is we're going to set the layout scale to itself. So originally, and you can see right here what it's saying, the original scale or the overall scale of the layout is 1.0. That's the original size. Whatever you see as your layout, that is its scale and it's going to equal 1.0. If you want to zoom in and go double the size, you could put it at 2.0. So let's do that. Let me hit save and let me hit play. And now when I actually go mouse wheel down, you can see that now we're double the size. So we've actually zoomed in. So that's what that does. So let's put this back and actually let's just say 1.0 is the size, it's the original size. So we can actually just say layout scale because we know that that equals 1.0. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract from that. So when we scroll down, we're gonna subtract minus 0.1. So now instead of being at 1.0, we're at 0 0.099, oh no, sorry. We're at 0.99, there we go. And when we hit done, that's what's going to happen. So if we hit run and I scroll down, oh my goodness, and I'm gone. So that's what happens. So we need to put a cap on that. We don't want to scroll to infinity because we will lose the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another condition. So I'm going to select this event and hit C on the keyboard. And we're going to go into system, compare two values. And the values that we're going to compare are the layout scale, which we know originally is 1.0 but when we scroll down, it's going to be less. And we're gonna say, if the layout scale is greater than 0.75. So remember, when we're actually mouse wheeling down, we're subtracting from that. So now it's 0.99, 0 0.98, 0 0.97, and you get the point until it hits 0.75. If it hits 0.74, then this event no longer gets fired. So now if I run the layout and I mouse wheel down, Okay, I died, but I can still, you can see that it got capped right at 0.75, and I respawned and died again. But you can see that it got capped at 0.75, and now let's do the mouse wheel up, so that way we have the inverse of that. What we're going to do is we're just going to control click this action, and instead of saying subtract 0.1, we are going to add it back. So we're gonna add 0.1 to the scale. Now, if we hit play, and we zoom out, and we zoom in, our zoom in has an infinite capability of zooming in, which is kind of cool. But if you wanted to cap it, which is not in the example that you can get from uh, the RTS template, we would do the same thing, but backwards. We would control click this to copy it. And we'd say if the layout scale is less than a certain number. So we know that 2.0 is double the size. So let's put it to 2.0. So if the layout scale is less than two, because now we're adding, so we were going to go higher than 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.2. So let's hit play, and let's mouse wheel up, and we're gonna stop at 2.0. Now we can make this a little bit higher. We can put this to 2.5, we can put this to three. And if you don't have that, it'll just scroll in infinitive, infinite, infinitely. It's late. 
forgive me. So that is how to do the basic zoom. We can zoom out and now we can zoom in. When I zoom out, I can see where my enemies are at. For the most part, I might want to zoom out a little bit further. I could put this down to 0.50. Let's see how that goes. I actually haven't tested that. So let's see how far that'll zoom me out. All right, now I can really see the entire layout and what the layout size is. Oh, man, my game is pretty brutal. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for listening. Again, I'm Jeremy Alexander. Oh, and I almost forgot. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you want to see more videos like this. I actually fi I love finding the little bits of code and example projects and explaining them. So let me know if you want to see more of that. Also, if you're interested in the Top Down Shooter course, there is a link in the description to get a lot off of it a lot so check that out if you want and i'll again see you guys next time